supposedly the biggest solar storm in the last 20 years has hit the Earth, according to NASA and the mainstream media. And they say that these solar flares are what's causing people to see the northern lights in locations that they wouldn't normally see this sort of thing. And they're claiming that these solar flares are causing electrical disturbances. Even Elon Musk is claiming his Starlink satellites are being affected by these solar flares. And the only real proof they have that this is actually happening is a bunch of CGI and cartoons. Now people in our valley got a chance to see northern lights in their own backyard. Here are some photos sent to us by some viewers. We got Peggy Lee from Sun City and Connor Foley from the Northwest Valley. The northern lights could be seen all across the country last night, but tonight looks like plenty of Americans will get a second shot of seeing the aurora. Geneva, did you get a chance to see the northern lights? No, unfortunately I was engrossed in watching a Mel Gibson movie last night. <laughs> but tonight, last night, but tonight there's going to be another chance. So I'm so actually we'll going to go try. So we'll have to go check it out yeah. because I didn't get it, a chance to see it either. Yeah, um, we are expecting more of that energy to be blasted out from the sun tonight and into tomorrow. And here is a look at where they're forecasting that visibility line to go through. Really northern Nevada and northern Utah is the closest we're going to get, but Nonetheless, I'm still going to give it a shot because a lot of people yesterday went out and looked in their backyard all the way out to Florida and saw glimpses of the Aurora Borealis. So I definitely am going to see if I can head to a place with a little bit less light pollution tonight and try and find them. So what is happening? Basically, we are seeing a solar storm, the sun emitting more charged particles than normal and a lot of those charged particles heading straight to Earth. But we've got a magnetic field that really protects us from the brunt of all that energy but however some of those particles do hit the earth's atmosphere and they collide with nitrogen and oxygen atoms in the atmosphere and what does that do it creates those beautiful colors we see in the sky so that's essentially what is going on right now right Typically, you would really only see that aurora borealis from around the North Pole up in Alaska, Canada, but this is a very strong system, so that's why we're seeing it so much further south. So you're telling me that the sun is a big, gigantic ball of burning gas 93 million miles away, and every so often it just so happens to have a solar storm which every once in a while will shoot a solar flare in the exact direction of the Earth. And these random flares, which coincidentally line up perfectly with the Earth and travel 93 million miles, put on an amazing light show for us tiny little humans with our even tinier little eyeballs in our tiny little world. Cool story, bro. Just because some people are seeing some colorful things in the sky in places where they don't normally see these colorful things does not mean that the sun is shooting off solar flares randomly in the direction of the earth, which is causing this. And just because you see colors in the sky does not mean Elon Musk is for sure having trouble with his Starlink satellites because of solar flares. So let's not assume that just because we see cool, colorful things happening in the sky, that therefore there is a solar storm happening on the sun. The supposed aurora borealis that people think they are seeing may be made artificially, or it might be made by some other means other than what they are telling us. If they lied about what the sun is, 
how the sun works, how far away the sun is, how big the sun is, then they can definitely lie about what's causing those colorful things to happen in the sky. For instance, I could argue that they could spray some sort of metallic spray in the sky and possibly use some sort of advanced projection technology, I don't know, perhaps Project Blue Beam, and create an artificial aurora borealis, if you will. And that's just me imagining things and speculating. So if I can imagine and speculate that sort of thing, then perhaps somebody out there with enough money could possibly have figured out a way to artificially create an aurora borealis. I'm just saying. So now, between AI and solar flares, they can practically blame any sort of technological failure, whether it be planned or not, on such things as solar storms. They can blame the sun for any sort of problem. The ultimate scapegoat. Oh, that plane fell out of the sky because of a solar flare. Oh, the power went out in a major city for days because of a solar storm. Oh yeah, there was a major internet failure because of a solar flare. It's the ultimate excuse for anything that they plan to do. So here's an interesting piece of information that I'm not sure if anyone else has brought up yet, but the Super Bowl this last season was in Las Vegas and the Super Bowl logo colors were red and purple and there were pictures that people took in the Las Vegas Valley of the supposed Aurora Borealis, the Northern Lights, which showed a red and purple color in the sky. So, did they have predictive programming within the Super Bowl logo, which was conditioning people for the upcoming rare Aurora Borealis sighting? in the Las Vegas Valley. Now it could be a total coincidence that the logo for the Super Bowl was purple and red and a lot of the pictures in the Las Vegas Valley of the Northern Lights was purple and red. That might be just a total coincidence, but I do find it highly fascinating nonetheless. The same government and mainstream media combo that lied about the moon landings and lied about the space station and lied about basically everything are the same ones responsible for lying about solar storms and solar flares. So with that said, I can't tell you what exactly is causing those crazy colors happening in the sky in places where that is normally not seen. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think is going on, and I will catch all of you in the next video. Peace.